Man, I got one heck of a bird deal today, folks. Woo, boy. This is going to be one of the fastest, quickest, easiest, smoothest bird deals you could ever do. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. Ha! Yeah! What's up? I'm James. I am here to help investors like you. Investors from California is my forte, right? I'm dealing with an investor from California right now. My main man, Rashul. And Rashul, you are looking to do bird deals in the Northeast Ohio region. Why? Because that's one of the best cash flow markets in the United States of America. And you want to burr multifamily real estate. And it's hard to come across a lot of multifamily real estate right now that needs to be burred because the inventory is so short. And for some crazy folks out there that have never heard of the burr strategy, that stands for buy, rent, renovate. No, no, did that wrong. Buy, renovate, rent. You can't rent it before you renovate it. That'd be stupid. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You buy a crummy house, you renovate the crummy house, because you, and then you put a tenant in there, and then because you did that, you get to have the ARV be more than your acquisition costs, right? So essentially, like, you're trying to be all in on, like, a 100K property for, like, 90K. So then when you do your refinance, you get most of your money back. Well, guess what, Rashul? I'm going to do just that for you. Get you all in on a 100K property for only 90K. But here's the kicker. You don't actually have to renovate the sucker. That's already done. Let's take a look. Hey, up here, click the show notes below to advertise your business on Holton Wise TV today. Welcome back. Now, this property... Okay, this one's going to be cheap, 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 but it's going to be a battle to get it. It's not going to be like, that looks good. I want it. You're going to have to fight for this one, okay? It's in Lorraine. I love Lorraine, Ohio, by the way, right? Half hour west of Cleveland, one of the best cash flow, most well-known cash flow markets. Not a lot of people think about Lorraine, though. Cleveland is just a small city in the grand scheme of things in northeast Ohio, right? Uh, people get attracted to Cleveland, but don't just like put your blinders on to only the city of Cleveland. It's like 350,000 people in a market with like almost 5 million people, okay? Lorraine, I love, right? First of all, the government, a lot easier on landlords than Cleveland. You don't believe me, huh? Cleveland's got some issues going on right now. Number one, the mayor, he's a turd, okay? Uh, you know, just Google James Wise, Justin Bibb, right? Me and him, we've had our tussles, right? You got that. Uh, number dos. Uh, you got the new lead-based paint ordinances. I'm not saying that that means don't invest in Cleveland. I'm just saying right now uh, with the rollout, there's a lot of uncertainty when you're uh, going through the first round of these things, right? Uh, there's 90,000 rental units. Only 7,000 have actually been certified. So if you're going to buy a property that's uncertified, you need uh, to know how to do the due diligence and, and understand what you're facing. As a matter of fact... Anybody investing in Cleveland needs to watch the video I've linked to below on this new lead-based paint uh, certification process. That uh, lead paint law is something that's brand new in the city of Cleveland, and it is going to change the game, right? So you need to understand how to navigate that, right? If you navigate it well, you're still going to make a ton of money. If you don't, you're going to lose a lot of money. But that is neither here nor there with this property because this property is half hour west in Lorraine. You don't have to deal with it, right? 522, 522 West 21st, Lorraine, Ohio. Just hit the market today, 72 grand. This is a duplex. Each unit has three beds in one bath. Now, it's nothing special to look at, okay? There are like some dated units. We already got long term legacy tenants in there paying below market rent, right? We got one person in there at six, the other person at six and a quarter. But this being in Lorraine and being three bedroom units, the market rent right now for each of these, pull up the chart right now, eight and a quarter, right? So this thing has the ability to bring in sixteen fifty a month or nineteen thousand eight hundred a year, right? Twenty freaking thousand dollars. 
uh, could be coming in out of this bad boy, okay? And the sellers have listed it at 72 grand. Now, that's why I say you're going to have to fight for this one. It's not like, don't say two grand. Don't, 1650 of rent. That sounds also Joyce. I want the property. You don't get it. You're not getting the property at 72. The seller made a huge mistake, okay? But luckily for the seller, the market will correct their mistake. Maybe they didn't even make a mistake. Maybe they did it on purpose. Uh, sometimes you purposely bid something, in, you know, list something incredibly low uh, to get a bidding war going uh, because everybody sees it's such a great deal and then they start fight, fighting each other and then like some machismo takes into effect and people battle and maybe they end up bidding higher than they would have needed to, right? Uh, moral of the story is I find it very, very unlikely that you'll ever be able to buy this property at 72 grand. My opinion, we got to bid 90. Yeah, 90. That's a lot more than list price, but dude, this is a $100,000 duplex, right? It's like doing a bird deal without doing a bird deal, right? If you can pick it up at 90, boom, that's like 10K in equity, man. Uh, like if I was listing this thing, I probably would have listed at like 105, 10, anywhere between 99.9 and 109.9, right? Is a reasonable price point for this thing. Minimum, this is worth 100K. So if you buy it at 90, it's a burr without doing the work. It's a burr without doing a renovation. That's freaking sweet, right? Uh, 90. I think there'll be no less than 15 offers in this thing by the end of the day, tomorrow, end of the week. However long it's going to take the seller to decide to accept an offer. Ain't no way somebody's taking it down to 72. It's just not going to happen. So don't focus on that price. Focus on what the rest of the market's going to bid, right? There's 5,000 real estate agents in the MLS that this property is listed on, okay? A lot of people are going to see this. A lot of people are going to try to take it down. Lorraine, they're getting two new naval bases, okay? That is going to add thousands of jobs. This is where you want to be. You know how many duplexes are available on the market in Lorraine right now? Like three. Uh, one's overpriced like crazy. The other one's listed by this real estate agent who's a freaking idiot. He's so dumb. He's like a, he's like a mouth breather. Uh, I actually had sold it to somebody, and this real estate agent was too fucking stupid. We just had to cancel the deal because he couldn't appropriately do his job, and we couldn't actually get to the closing line, right? And then the third one is this one, which is going to be in a huge, huge bidding war, right? Because the numbers make sense, folks. Look at this. 1650 comes in. After accounting for fixed and variable expense estimates with Holton Wise handling everything for you, right? Completely passive. You're looking at approximately 10 and a half, right? You only put up 22 and a half. Bank kicks in the other 67 and a half. Factors out to a 32% long-term cash on cash return if you can get the existing tenants rents up to market at eight and a quarter. I would recommend trying to do that slowly because if they move out because you went too fast, well, you just created a new turnover and you're probably going to need to spend about 10K a unit minimum getting them up to modern looks to get a new tenant to come in and pay you the 825. But there's not a lot of housing out there. We got a lot more jobs coming to the area. So, like, people are going to want to hold on to their units. Anyway, you slice it. This is an awesome deal. Like I said, it's a burr deal without having to actually do the renovation, right? If we can get it for 90. That's what I think makes sense. I can't even guarantee you'll get it for 90 because, again, true value here is anywhere between 1 and 110, okay? But they listed it so low. I feel like if we put in an offer at 90, which is, what is that, 82, 18,000 more than their list price, I feel like we have a strong chance of taking it down. But if you really want this one, maybe you're going to go even higher. Any way you slice it, though, inventory short, this is a hot deal. You need to move quick. You need to be aggressive. This is a good one. This is the one. This is one you want to add to your portfolio long term. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.